Welcome back to Jazz Tutorials. I'm going to be showing you this week how to make stickers in Photoshop. Um, we've probably touched upon this in a previous video a year or two ago. Um, I think I showed you how to make a sticker text effect, maybe possibly. Can't remember offhand, but either way, I'm showing you how to do it using shapes as well. Um, it's almost the same way, but just I altered it a bit so that it's a little bit different and looks a little bit nicer. So um, I'm using a blue background um, just to show this, but you guys can pick whatever you want, do whatever you want, I don't really care. Um, so I'm going to grab my shape tool. I'm just going to make a heart because why the hell not and put it wherever the hell I want. <laughs> Alright, so with that now done, I'm going to make that a layer. Once you have done that, we're going to duplicate that layer three twice, so we have three layers, shape one, shape copy, and a shape something else. So I have a shape one, a shape one copy, and a shape one copy two. So on the first, on the first layer, you want to set your fill to zero, by the way. And then we're going to start with bevel and emboss settings because that's the easiest way to go. Um, so I have an inner bevel, smooth technique, a depth of 100%, a direction of up, a size of 10. Um, do not use global light on this, so just go 79 degree angle and then 37 degree altitude. Um, down below, everything stays the same except I changed the uh, shadow color to a little gray color. Just pick a shade of gray that looks nice to you. Um, I chose that one there, so possibly go with that if you want. Then after that, I went and used Inner Shadow. Um, the angle is 120 degrees with global light checked off. Uh, we have a 5 distance pixels, a 30% choke, and a 3 pixel size for our size. Then we added a drop shadow on this layer. Um, it's going to be a lovely 47% opacity drop shadow with a 5, pr 5 pixel distance, 0% spread, and a 6 pixel size. Click OK, and you're going to have that. Looks almost like the glass effect we made a few, a few tutorials back, but not really. Alright, next we're going to work on the copy one layer, the one above that by the way. And this one is going to have a bevel and a boss as well. Um, inner bevel, smooth technique, 100% depth. Directions up again. My size on this is 3 pixels. My soften is 2 pixels. No global light. Negative 153 degrees. 69 degree altitude. Linear light is my highlight mode for my shading with white, obviously, for our color. I'm just plugging my fan again. So we don't overheat here. Uh, we have a shadow mode of multiply with a 75% opacity. Alright, so now we're going to add a contour. So click contour and then just click anti-allies and you're going to go there. That will just add some more depth to it and make it more shiny and sparkles. Alright, lastly we're going to add a stroke on this layer. My color is going to be white obviously. We just have a 14 pixel size and that's that layer in a nutshell. Boom! All right. Last and final layer is going to be your top copy, and this is going to pretty much put it all together. So again, bevel and emboss settings. We have inner smooth and a depth of 100, 100 direction up. Um, size will be seven. Soften is zero. Again, no global light is needed, so we're going to have a 170 degree angle, 69 degree altitude, 69. Oh yeah. Just kidding. Anyways, check off anti-allies on this one. Um, screen for your highlight mode and shadow mode is well fly. Standard there. Next, we're going to go and add an inner shadow. Multiply with a black color chosen. 35% opacity on this one. 120 degree angle with some global light. We're going to have 0 for the distance, 0 for the choke, and a 5 pixel size. Last but not least, we're going to add our color. So this is where you can get creative, pick your color. I'm choosing red because it's a red because it's a heart, but y'all can ch pick whatever you like. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna have that. Oh my god, it's a sticker! Woo! Now, if you were to go without the white background on that, you could actually have maybe possibly a 3D sticker. 
Um, I did some text earlier and I like the way it looked, so look at that! Looks like some 3D stickery text, sort of, kind of, ish. That's just it. all the layers except for the... That's just the first layer without the last two, and that's that effect too. So you can go that route with your text as well if you wanted to. Um, you guys can get super creative with this if you like. You can do virtually anything at this point using that uh, method of stickering. Um, if you went without the white um, background and went with the text like I have here in purple, that could be considered a text effect. Um, you can do multiple colors, you can do multiple layers and make it look all 3D like. I don't know, you guys come up with something cool. Um, if you want to share some creations with me, you're welcome to share them on Facebook. You can share them via Twitter, you can share them via Tumblr, I believe, maybe possibly. Um, or whatever. All social medias are below in the link description, in the description box with links. Um, I did, however, stream um, a couple days ago, um, some Sims. Um, yeah, so I'll try and get back into streaming some stuff. Um, if you guys have any cool streams you want to see, comment below. If you have any suggestions on this channel, do comment below as well. Um, I will see you guys next week with a cool tutorial. Later on!